Hello viewers, I'm here at Laguna Seca. We got the Porsches, BMWs in the background. We're gonna go take a look at that in a moment. But uh, yeah, just excited to be here for the IMSA weekend at the Modal Course de Monterey. Let's do this. So last weekend, I had the incredibly rare opportunity to visit the WeatherTech Laguna Seca Raceway for, like I said in the video, the IMSA Modal Course de Monterey. I was able to witness and film the LMDH cars along with the other classes of IMSA. For this video, I will talk about my experience at this wonderful event and share with you some of the footage and details I captured at Laguna Seca. So I went for Friday, which was the practice session. I didn't go for qualifying or the race, and this was because there was a better opportunity to see these LMDH prototypes along with the other classes up close in person, as well as just more stuff to do. During the first part of Friday, all the LMDH cars were in their garages getting ready for the practice session. And now I'm gonna show you the footage I took in front of the team's garages. So this is the JDC Miller garage. There's Tim and Vanderhelm in there. I don't know if you guys can see him. <laughs> Such a cool car. Can't wait to see JDC Miller on track. And here's MSR as well. They're right next door. And then further down is the yellow Cadillac. And the Konica Minolta Acura. Very blue. Very cool. And then over here, we got the Porsches as well, which I'll take a look at in a moment. They're in the garage right now. That's the seven and the six is up there. It was really cool to see all these LMDH cars in the garages getting prepared for the race and practice session. And I really got a hand to IMSA for allowing us to get so close to these entries. This set of garages included the two Acuras, the two Cadillacs, the JDC Miller Porsche, and the two Porsche Penske's. For some reason, the BMWs were in a separate area, but don't worry, I did catch a lot of footage of the BMW LMDH cars. I'll go to them in a moment. Though at this time, some of the LMDH cars were being wheeled to the Wayne station that IMSA had set up across the pits. And when I snapped this photo of the number six Porsche, I actually ran just after that to go catch up to the number seven Porsche, which was also heading to the station. A remarkable opportunity for me to see this Porsche right in front of my eyes. We are currently following the Porsche 963. This is the number seven car. Really cool. I'm going to see if I can take a few photos of it. We're standing in front of the number seven Porsche 963. It's being wheeled back into the garage with the six, which is already in there as well. It just came from Wayne, I believe. Besides the number seven Porsche, the 01 Chip Ganassi Cadillac was also there. It's remarkable how bright this car truly is, especially when it came into the sunlight. The yellow Cadillac was in the station and the footage I took of it was the car being wheeled back to the pits, just like the number seven Porsche. During this point, the red Cadillac was also there, but unfortunately I couldn't get a good photo of it as it was in a cornered off zone of the tent. Around this area of the pits, there were also a bunch of GTD Pro and GTD cars.
Now, believe me, all these entries here at the IMSA weekend had an amazing livery, but the one that I kept going back to was that dinosaur Porsche. Nicknamed Rexy, the green Porsche entered by AO Racing stood out across the entire GTD field. A very cool livery, if you ask me, especially the idea of the teeth at the front of the car. I think that's a genius idea. With time ticking down till practice, I was eager to get some footage of the cars either starting up or going out on track from the pits. So here are some of the starting up sequences I captured before the lights went green for the IMSA Laguna Seca free practice one session. The cars are now heading out on track, so I'm going to show you some of the footage I took from the first practice session at Laguna Seca in 2023. say a big thank you to IMSA and the track organizers, a really incredible event and it's something I think I'll never forget. 
Seeing these cars in person made me realize how special this motorsport truly is. Endurance racing has truly entered its next golden age in racing competition. I hope you enjoyed this video of me explaining my trip to Laguna Seca for the IMSA Modal Course de Monterey. If you are interested in endurance racing, this is the channel to subscribe to. Do so to the left as I make content weekly on the WEC and IMSA. If you want to see another video right now, I suggest clicking one of the options to the right of your screen. So that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video.